morning viewers today we are going to discuss the topic so called thermodynamics so thermodynamics is one of the popular branches of physics as we are having different branches of physics just as uh, electricity magnetism dynamics kinematics electromagnetism and all so thermodynamics is also one of the most popular branches in physics so this is mostly given in the second semester of uh, degree first year degree first year physics semester 2 so the four units are completely based on the concepts of uh, thermodynamics so today we are about to discuss the topic thermodynamics what is thermodynamics actually so in thermodynamics we study about heat and its properties what heat energy is and from where to where does it flow uh from either hot body to cold body or from cold body to hot body uh, what is the direction of flow of heat we will get to know all those things we we'll get the clarity we we'll try to get more clarity on those concepts now see thermodynamics is the branch of physics in which we study about flow of field in fact the word thermodynamics itself is a combination of two words just as thermo means heat and dynamics is nothing but motion yes motion so we'll try to learn about the motion of heat from where to where does the heat moves and what is the direction of flow of heat in which direction does the heat energy moves so this is the branch of physics in which we study about the flow of heat uh, and in fact in this topic and of this topic thermodynamics we must know the difference the important difference Oh, the difference between heat and temperature. Most of the students are getting confused in between these two topics. Uh, what is heat and what is temperature? If we if we ask to most of the students what is heat, uh, they'll give the answer as temperature. And if we ask what is temperature, they'll give the answer as heat. So the heat doesn't mean temperature, and the temperature doesn't doesn't mean heat. They are very different from each other. Now we will see the difference between those two. If you wish to copy, you can take a book along with you. Then you can copy from the board. Now see, heat versus temperature. so first of all heat is a type of energy it is a type of energy as we are having different different forms of energy such as mechanical energy sound energy electrical energy light energy in the similar fashion heat is also a particular type of energy which flows which flows which always flows from hot bodies to the cold bodies i'll give the example don't worry let us suppose this is object a this is object p the object a is at high temperature nothing but this object is too hot and the object b is at low temperature nothing but the object is cool if i keep those two objects in contact the heat always flows from the hot body to the cold body mean the cold body goes on increasing its temperature and uh, it will tend to heat up itself right and the hot body hot body uh, starts cooling down so uh, as any hunga it will not happen that the hot body uh, getting even more hotter and the cold body in getting even more colder right so the hot body becomes cool and the cold body becomes hot i think but the transfer of heat energy takes place from hot body to the cold body so 
heat is nothing but a type of energy which flows from hot bodies to the cold bodies so as it is a type of energy the unit for the energy is joule you can also write j as a symbol temperature is nothing but uh, the temperature of a body is nothing but the degree of the degree of hotness or coolness of an object right to what extent the body is hot or cool right this is given by the temperature if the body is too hot too hot right then the temperature of the body is too high if the body is cool the temperature is low so uh, there are several units for the measurement of temperature the most common the most common unit is uh, degree celsius right the centric unit is uh, kelvin the symbol is k here it is degree celsius right we can also write degree kelvin apart from these two units we are having another unit just as uh, fahrenheit indicated by capital f in fact you will see the relation between all those three what is the relation between uh, degree celsius and kelvin what is the relation between kelvin fahrenheit and in fact the relation between fahrenheit and celsius so there are uh, two three equations will give the information or will give the relation between these three now if you wish to copy if you want to copy you can copy from the board take a notebook along with you See, the relation between relation between degree Celsius and Kelvin. In fact, out of those three units, out of those three units, uh, and degree Celsius, Kelvin, and uh, Fahrenheit, the Kelvin unit is the international unit or SI unit, right? So, one degree Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. This is the relation between the Celsius and Kelvin. And uh, the relation between Fahrenheit and Celsius or Celsius Fahrenheit, the same thing. So, why? That is equal to F minus 32 by 9 is equal to C by 5. Right, so if I want to take the relation between Kelvin and Fahrenheit, relation between Kelvin and Fahrenheit, we can write very simple, write this F minus 32 by 9 as it is, by 5 as it is in the place of C, I can write K minus 273, if I send this 273 that side it will be minus, so that is the value of C. I can write here C is equal to C is equal to K minus 273. Right. So F minus 32 by 9 is equal to K minus 273 by 5 is the relation between is the relation between Kelvin and Fahrenheit. So one more uh, important point is there to discuss in between uh, degree Celsius and Kelvin. If you wish to copy, you can copy from the board. So if you want to learn thermodynamics in a deep manner, you need to learn some basic quantities. Just as, uh, of course, there are so many basic concepts, so many uh, basic terminologies uh, which we need to learn in thermodynamics, but, but uh, some of them are very important to learn. See, the temperature we have seen, the degree of hotness or coldness, uh, or it gives an idea about uh, uh, the hotness of the body that is known as temperature and uh, apart from this yes uh, could you please tell me what is this pressure indicated by P so pressure is nothing but the force which is acting in a perpendicular manner or the force which is acting normally on a given surface of area A right so this is force act 
thing normally on area A, right? This is defined as pressure. Its unit is units. Units. Pressure is having units as force is measured in newton and area is measured in meter square. So newton newton per meter square is also called Pascal, right? Most of the students and teachers used to tell Pascal, but that is wrong because unit will never come in plural. It always comes in singular. Just as uh, um, if you want to tell the distance from uh, Adinawa to Hyderabad, you are supposed to say 300 kilometer, not 300 kilometers. So that is an essential point in telling the units of a particular physical quantity. Now. So, if force, if force is a vector, what do we expect the pressure to be? Of course, pressure, we expect the pressure to be a vector, but, but, uh, practically it's not a vector, it's a scalar. Why? Because even though pressure is having direction and magnitude, it doesn't come under the category of vectors because, because, if a physical quantity is to be a vector, if a physical quantity is to be a vector, it must satisfy the laws of vector addition, just as triangular law of vector addition, parallelogram law of vector addition. So basically, this pressure, physical quantity, does not satisfy the laws of vector addition. So this pressure is not a vector, it doesn't come under the category of vector, it doesn't fall under the family of vectors, it is a what? Yes, it's a scalar. So this is the formula, this is the unit, right? It's a formula, unit, and uh, about its uh, uh, scalar and vector. Now, why are the definition? Because most of the students are in need of uh, definition. Most of the people think that definition is called definition. So here we go with the definition. The force acting on a given unit area in perpendicular direction is called pressure. So after pressure we are going to have volume. We are going, we are going to have a look on volume. Now see volume. Volume is nothing but the space occupied by an object. The space occupied by an object or the ability to occupy the space is nothing but uh, volume. Let us suppose I have two things just as um, <laughs> this, this box and this duster. Right? So this box, this box is uh, occupying less space, that's why its volume is less and the, this duster is occupying more space, that's why its volume is more. So the object occupies more space, having more volume. Right? So why because? Why because its length, breadth and height, all those three factors are more as compared to that box. So the ability, the ability to occupy the space is called volume. This is the best possible definition of volume. Now here we go with the uh, <laughs> formula. Formula is what? Simple volume is equal to length into breadth into height LBH. Of course, it's a scalar, right? Right. Now, see the unit. The length of an object is uh, 
measured in meter, breadth is also measured in meter, height is also measured in meter. So meter into meter into meter is meter cube or cubic meter we can also say, right? So these are the basic concepts we need to learn in thermodynamics. Of, of course, there are many more advanced concepts which we need to learn in thermodynamics will come to know or will come across in our upcoming videos. So what we have learned is uh, what is thermodynamics, right? What is heat versus temperature? What is pressure? What is volume? Right? So here we stop our lecture. We'll meet again in the next video. If you like the video, you can hit the like button and uh, do subscribe to the channel. And uh, how was our today's lecture? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you.